Hello, this is Carla from Fun Schooling at the Williams School of Fashion and Pursuit. I thought I would do a couple very quick real videos for you. And this one is about how unschoolers learn to read. I know that that is a question I get. I always get the question about reading and about math. And so I wanted to come to you and talk a little bit about that and how our children have become self um taught readers. Uh, we have six children and out of the six, um, the fifth child is in the process of learning and our um, youngest has not quite started yet, but he's trying. So we, this is our, has been a time tested uh, thing for us. We have never used a uh, reading curriculum. Um, we have not, I've never purchased anything. I'll tell you the top I'd say four things that we do when it comes to reading and um, number one is that we are readers and we are adamant readers and they see us reading and when they notice that books have information in them they get excited and they want that information too so they always pay attention to what the parents are doing if you develop a culture of reading in your household it will happen the desire and the drive to become a reader themselves will happen um, number two we are very adamant um, about utilizing our local library and um, hopefully you can hear me because it's a little loud but this is our everyday life so I like to do my videos with the kids in the background but um, we utilize our local library and we get about a hundred uh, library books per month and we I do have a video about the library and how we do that so I won't bore you with the details of that you can watch that video on our channel but we get hundreds of library books and we have our own library here. I'm sitting here in our resource room um, of our own uh, that is pretty extensive. But we also get monthly a hundred or more library books and we spread out um, what those library books are about. And the kids let me know what they're passionate about, what they would like to study, things of that nature. But again, you can watch that video to learn more about that. Um, secondarily, I am a label maker fanatic. And so I... Um, I will put uh, words of actual items all over the house, all over the house. The house is covered, the windowsill, the tables, the computer, the TV, the all of the uh, appliances in the kitchen, they're labeled. And so they learn new words by going around the house. Sometimes they even like to get notebooks and write it down. And these are things that they do on their own. Um, also, we read to them constantly. I am reading out loud to the little ones, um, and when the older ones were little, we did a lot of reading. Um, we also do audio books. Um, I challenge the kids to read books that are um, on the next level, and so that helps them learn new words and um, styles of language and poetry and things of that nature. So there's a lot of things that we do, but more than anything, we just develop a culture of reading. On a daily basis, we have a quiet reading time where the whole house shuts down. There's no technology, nothing. And we actually, um, everybody stops and reads. So, and it's very, very helpful because it, it gets them to the understanding that anything they want to know, no matter what it is, it's in a book. Any information they desire to acquire, it is in a book somewhere, and that they can seek that knowledge and um, and fill their mind with, with with facts and information all day, every day, on the things that they're passionate about. And obviously, they learn new things, too. We try strewing, which in the unschooling community is a way of placing um, information in a child's path in a non-forceful way. And as a result of that, we find new passions and new interests that our children have by um, getting them things that maybe they didn't ask for or they never shown an interest in. But we place it, you know, um, in their path uh, throughout the home for them to be able to pick up and explore. And sometimes it ignites something new. So, again, the most important thing is developing a culture in your home of reading. That reading is some is a part of your life. It's a part of what you do. And before you know it, they begin to pick up on those things. Now, yes, we have flashcards. Yes, we have, you know, magnet sentence building kits and all kinds of stuff like that. But it's not something that we build in in a curriculum way. We make those things available. When we begin to see them trying to read, we read constantly to them. We allow them to read to us. We uh, introduce new words. We play around with the flashcards. We play around with the magnet sentence kits, stuff like that. But it's not an actual structured reading program. 
We just go with the flow. We allow them to show us when they're ready. They ask us questions, and we just make sure that we are constantly reading to them. And before you know it, they are soaring. I've had every single child um, up to this point start when they were ready and have continually grown. So we, at the beginning of every year, we make goals as far as what you know we want to accomplish for the year as unschoolers. But and on everybody's goal list is to go to the next level in reading, whatever that level is. And so the way that we do that is by encouraging reading and providing materials on the next level for each child in the areas that they're passionate about and some areas that they're not and just see if they if they bite, if it's something that they catch on to. So just wanted to share that very quickly because I get that question a lot. People want to know how in the world do unschoolers learn to read? Well, reading in our family is the most important skill that we focus on um, when they are ready because I know that any information they ever want to know on any, on any topic in their life that is going to be in a book. So just wanted to share that with you. Hope you got something out of it and hope I answered that question. Thank you.